it's uh, Friday. Uh, I just finally got my last uh, permit. Check this out. Check out how much paperwork I have here. Okay, so this is my manifest and uh, bond. Right, that's what I need. Hold on, wait. What did I do with the... That's my PBA, bridge approval. I need to show this at the bridge. Like, this is a Flying J, right? So, five kilometers, three miles. I just got my New York permit, so... 40 bucks for New York State, but for some reason they sent me on uh, 90 till uh, Rochester, 154 dollars. And then I got, that's another copies, you need the multiple copies of this bond. Then I got the dock receipt, my bill of lading. Uh, pick up, okay, that's my, uh, wait a second, I didn't print out the, no, this is my Pennsylvania. $290 Maryland is 365 can you believe this Maryland is 365 oh, wait a second why oh because I spec two because one for the escort but Jesus why is it so expensive 365 to go four miles and over here uh, Clause two, single escort vehicle. So I'll have to spend another, so what is this? So 365, 290, <laughs> for one, what did I say, 40 for New York and 150 for the toll New York. And now at the bridge, I'll pay about uh, $100 Canadian, about 80 bucks US. Oh boy, just money, 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 you know? And that's why, you know, these loads, you know, sometimes people, that's why I don't even bother, you know? I used to, if you know, if you remember guys, I used to give you like owner operator uh, profits and expenses, but if I do that with these loads, it'll confuse the heck out of people. I still remember when I was doing that, um, when I was pulling a step deck, you know, there's people watching these uh, blockbusters from all over the world, right? Because I'm a very popular guy. Okay, we're gonna put as my destination TA in Densville. Beautiful. Directions. Oh, nice picture. Looks like what I, I, I took. Uh... No, I'm not there yet. Directions, come on. See? No, I'm gonna do not avoid tolls but allow tolls. My location. Yeah, go like this. Yeah, so I'm here now. I'm in the Canadian side over here. So I go around Buffalo on I uh, 190 and then 90 and then 390. But there's right after Dansville, Dansville uh, TA is exit 5. And right after exit 5, they want me to do a little detour here. Like this exit 4. Exit 4, they want me to go on 36 and then 65 and then 15 south back to 90. There's something here on... Uh, that's my only detour in, uh, in New York. Northwest on North Service Road toward Commerce Parkway. Okay, let me just do my uh, e-log. Keep tracking. So I've been using it since March. Very happy with this thing. You know, no issues. Uh, so Friday we do like this. Choose the day. Click. Add uh, status update. I always do like on duty. Basically it was off now, right? I go on duty and I put PTI. Pre-trip inspection. It has the location it says 92.3 kilometers southeast of toronto i don't know why they cannot use like fort erie right and then i do i have to fill out this 
inspection sign sign inspection report save save back to the form and I always add uh, just in case odometer manually 21537 21537 that's my odometer in kilometers save log and then when I come to the border right now my log is uh, in Canadian regulations like this little button here cycle rule if I click on that this is cycle rule I can change if I click on cycle rule right now it's Canada uh, 70 hours and 70 in seven days and if I click here it says US 70 hours and eight days right and uh, I don't want to change that so for now my trail is dropped let me just hook up to the trailer and we'll check the chains check the binders and I'm trying to remember you know um, I reset my um, I reset my computer because this Dell was giving me uh, lots of trouble like shutting down by itself does not want to start you know tries to start uh, like that uh, power button lights up goes down lights up goes black you know uh, you hook up power it says plugged in not not charging you know I tried everything removing those adapter software in the device manager you know like I'm pretty knowledgeable about this Windows computers but Jesus, this is the worst, the worst Dell uh, I ever had, you know. Okay, let's see if maybe I'm in a... I think I'm positioned, you know, properly, so let's see if I can... That would be too easy. I'm using my my fender as a move a bit to the right It's a little bit better. 
now there's some space between this thing see like this part over here over there it was touching now it, there's a little bit of a space which is always good to the track suspension and now I can put down the pusher you see that's the pusher pressure and yeah the pressure in the system went down because now air is going into the trailer thousand pounds my gross weight is 140 no big deal oh and uh, in other news I just got off the phone I don't like this but that was the only way I could set it up So I just got off the phone with a local uh, Fontaine dealer. Oh yeah, we're gonna put it to position three. I said, everything goes up. Air goes on the system because one, it's too low. Okay, we got air over here. Perfect.
these chains are loose that's how they should be and once i forgot i forgot and i they were still tight and the tire could not the bags could not fill out completely you know like these are like why would you put d-rings in here because how can you tie down your load to this then you're gonna you know push against your your axle so anyway so yeah the fontaine dealer he can he's getting a um, Pretty much the same trailer same spacing 60 inch same deck 26 foot long same trailer 55 ton fontaine except it's a flat deck and it's a 55 l so it's a eight it's just slightly taller than mine but it's a flat deck and i'm trying to see if i can I can get if I can do a trade in trade this trailer for that one see now I'm 13.6 with this big machine so if I had that trailer I would be a bit taller but then it would give me more versatility with uh, smaller loads yeah I made it to uh, New York New York State this plaza is so busy you know and you can see new york i don't know if you can see the plate but all new plates in new york are that yellow like kind of mustard yellow and the letters are black but at the top at the top i don't know if that's part of the oh it's probably just a decoration no yeah new york is also uh, new york state is uh mustard color so anyway this is the rest area not too far from henrietta henrietta see over there it's just yeah just oh just south of rochester so i'm just about to take this is i-90 right over there the toll i'm just about to take this 390 south and that's my first stop is uh Dansville. I'll probably stop there till till tomorrow. I just wanted to mention something else like one other challenge um, we heavy haul truckers have to deal with is uh, obscure obscure inaccurate language lingo on the permits uh i just managed to book uh escort you know one of the ladies i um i worked with before she was kind enough i guess she liked i gave her a tip and she liked uh she liked that and so she gave me a uh, this booklet and it has escorts not too many but you know it's helpful it has all escorts listed by the state and like how do you look for an escort like i try to call a centralized uh, broker that i used last time this guy has access to many cars left him three messages three messages no answer called mobile phone no answer i left a message there left a message on the main phone i don't know oh i'm on another line or i'm busy but when it called three times with a uh, 30 minutes interval like that's just not normal I know so I cannot trust these guys you know and I had this problem with them before when you call or nobody's answering the phone just a guy some guy probably sits somewhere on a farm you know when he has time he does this uh, escorts and all he does basically he has a database of guys with cars so he he himself has doesn't do anything right and that's cool because you give me you give me the contact info you can hook me up with the car but for that to work you have to answer your freaking phone right so anyway so this guy goes off my contact list I will never use him again and so I open this book and I'm thinking okay I need an escort uh, Wow nice uh, 
прикид, крутой прикид у девки. А, шортики такие. Интересно смотреть. А, just, you know, non-translatable comments in Russian. Uh, anyway, so I need an escort because I'm heavy. I'm uh, 140,000 gross, right? So the load itself is 87, this excavator. And New York is fine, Pennsylvania is fine, but Maryland wants me to have an escort, single car, from the PA line, PA line, Pennsylvania border, all the way to the port, right? And because of that, I cannot just go to the port Saturday or Sunday. First of all, there is a truck stop there, but if I take an escort, and I made this mistake before, and then the guy takes me to the truck stop, let's say, at uh, TA there, on, um, which is like two miles from the port, uh, he'll charge me twice, because the minimum charge is like 200 bucks, 250 dollars US, right? So if he takes me, if I go, if I go to the port, to the... Um, like there's no way in the port that you can you know sleep over there because they close on the weekend right so if this guy takes me to the truck stop one mile away from the port I'll have to pay him again to take me all the way to the port so basically it's not gonna work so now I was trying to find an escort that will take me from PA line non-stop straight to the port which is only like 45 miles you know and I checked the um, I check the uh, sun sunrise time. That's another thing, you know. I always do on my phone. I love this that all this technology nowadays. You know, at your fingertips, I can uh, find out right away when when the sunset or sunrise is. And this, uh, sorry, did I say sunset? Sunrise. So I was checking when the sunrise is in uh, Duncannon, PA, and it turns out it's at 5:35 in the morning. You know, so I can start dry. I can get up at five start driving at 545 and I have to pass Harrisburg and York before 7 because otherwise there's a curfew there uh, or maybe there's no curfew on the weekend I'll have to double check that but during the week I know 7 to 9 you cannot be there so that's why it's cool so I can get up real early and the basically yeah shut down in Duncannon over there there's lots of parking on the weekend but on, uh, on during the week it's very busy so I'm gonna shut down there and meet the escort at the PA line there's a place there where they park you know like a special spot for oversized loads and that wait for escorts as soon as you enter Maryland like you know 10 feet in there's a parking and so they give you that they give you that so you can enter Maryland without the escort just drive you know five feet ten feet but then there's a scale so if they catch without without the escort then you're in trouble and anyway so there's here's another consideration how do you look for escort like where because I will be in Duncannon PA which is um, about 60 miles from the PA Maryland border right so do I look for escort for the escort where I am sitting uh, Harrisburg do I look in Pennsylvania or do I look in uh, in Maryland and I checked Pennsylvania I didn't see any like there was one uh, escort right there that Shamoking smoking dam but I don't need them in Pennsylvania right so she would just drive with me kind of like was awkward so I started looking at Maryland because I thought for these guys it'll be easy just to you know and uh, Maryland probably has much more escorts right so I look and yeah there's a bunch of companies listed uh, for Baltimore specifically right because these loads always come and go I call one guy he took my phone number says I'll call you back I'll call you right back I have to call this guy and ask uh, what are his uh, uh, plans for Monday I waited, waited five, ten minutes. Nobody's calling me back. That's it. I'm sorry. You lost your, you lost your chance. You missed the boat. So I go down the list, and I see a cool name. It says Miss Flag, something, but Miss Flag, you know, like, like Miss America, you know. I start dialing that number, and turns out I made a mistake. And instead, this was number three position on the list. And it, instead, I dialed the. Cheyenne's 
uh, something. Cheyenne, kind of like, you know, like the town in uh, where Wyoming, I think, right? Uh, and the lady answers, and she says, uh, hold on, let me move to the other, to another desk. And I said, geez, you guys have more than one desk? You're a big company, you know? <laughs> she started laughing. Uh, what can I help you with? I said, well, I need a car for Monday, PA line to the port. Okay. And so she takes my phone number and she says, uh, how are you paying, cash or visa? I said, whatever's cheaper. So she says, uh, 200 bucks cash. I said, cool, I'll get cash. Okay, I'll pass your cell number. To, to the driver so basically she's the broker right she just has but uh, it, it sounded cool because she uh, when she went to that second desk she was uh, checking the schedule you know like she's pretty organized so she could see probably if she has like five or six cars or whatever that she works with she has them um, written up over there you know when everybody's available and that's how she found one guy I said seven o'clock I want I want to meet I want this escort to meet me at the border, PAMD border, 7 a.m. And she says, okay, I'll pass your... The one awkward thing is, she says, what's your company name? You know, and that's why uh, your company name should be easy to say and easy to write down, right? So my company name is my name. And so I say, S as in Sam, D as in David, R as in Richard. And we're like spelling back and forth like for half an hour. Then finally she has my name. Everything's cool. I said, yeah, just put S dot like initial and then my last name. Anyway, but it's cool. You know, I get used to it. So my name on the door, my truck, my business. I'm the boss. I'm the mechanic. I'm the accountant, I'm the security, I'm the driver. And that's how we roll, that's how we like it. But actually one thing I started, one thing I had in my head that I wanted to mention is that that obscure language, right? On my permit it says loads up to, and then there's a weight, and 14.6 tall must travel to the port only at night with a police escort you know so they have something new in there it, it was not on the permit before uh, going to the port and from the port if you are like super heavy and super tall you must uh, you cannot drive during the day and you need a cop escort which is super expensive you know on top of the regular escort you need a police car so I got scared and decided to double check what they mean when they say loads up to because my load is 87,000 but my gross is 140,000 like so anyway I called the permit service company and we asked them to look into this and they said no it does not apply to you um, so you're good to go just with one escort all right cool and so yeah so you know a lot of you have to take care of so many things when you deal with these uh, oversized loads and especially when you go through more than one state or more than one you know jurisdiction right i went through the border i went over the bridge they shut down the bridge i paid uh, 125 canadian and the guy says uh, um, I got a good price because after 12 o'clock noon the price goes up to $200 you know so I keep forgetting this so basically it's always best to go through the toll at the border before a certain time like this bridge you know just too much money after 12 o'clock noon right and so they take me to over there I paid then I waited for them to cross to close the bridge not because I'm so wide, I'm only 11, 3, 11, 4, but because I'm 140,000, right? So I'm very slow. And so they close the bridge in both directions, and I've drawn like a king in the middle of the bridge. Cool people are looking at me, you know, like, 
workers are working on the on the side of the bridge over there and then I came to the lane number one for oversized loads took the guy maybe I don't know 10 minutes to clear me and I go in bond right so I got all my paperwork printed out so now all I gotta do is uh, just get over to uh, the TA and then New York on Saturday I can drive till 12 o'clock noon right and that's why I don't want to kill myself since you know I cannot make it to the port anyway and you know the escorts it's all you need advance uh, notice right you cannot just call somebody and say hey I need an escort right now right no it, they they're always busy they don't work like this so it's always better to book them in advance right and that's why I told the freight broker I said first of all I'm six and a half hours or even seven hours away from the port secondly I need the escort and I think Friday they close like at three o'clock over there so I cannot make it plus there's all these curfews in PA right I said I'll drive slow and I'll be there for Monday morning okay the guy says okay see and that's how I like it I don't like to stress myself out just take your time you know go slow so now I checked yeah like the uh, my destination is only 45 miles away and I just like 93 90 so I'm not going on these crazy two-lane roads that I used to go a lot when I worked for premium uh, but of course this added 150 bucks US to the cost of, of permits because just for this one hour I think it's like yeah 60 miles 60 miles from Buffalo to 390 they charge 154 dollars I think US uh, but I'm gonna do that and then go to TA um, I don't know probably shut down there I also want to check out uh, I know there's a Verizon store in there you know all my friends recently have been switching back to Verizon we used to have Verizon a long time ago and then Verizon because they were offering a very good deal for Canadians and then they stopped that and then uh, Rogers my cell phone provider started doing um, something very unusual where they were only charging us like five bucks Canadian a day up to 10 days I think yeah so maximum was uh, 50 bucks like if you go back and forth between US and Canada Rogers was charging us only $50 um, Canadian like 35 40 bucks US a month and you use your plan you use your data there's no limits basically yeah you just pay a bit extra right And so everybody started switching to these guys, you know, because it was, it was, uh, you know, it was a good deal, except that the um, uh, connection in U.S., the, the quality, it's, they use AT&T, and quite often, you know, this, the connection is not very good, uh, like outside of a big city. Verizon, I, I think it's, they're much better, but they didn't have that deal, but then Rogers, started doing something stupid from five dollars times ten they went to six times ten they increased by one dollar okay sixty bucks then they increased to seven and now it's instead of ten days maximum now it's 15 days so basically seven times 15 one or five now you pay instead of basically they doubled uh the amount they charge you if you canadian and you go back and forth between us and canada right and so I called them, I said, this is it, I'm, I'm canceling, right? And they said, okay, we'll give you a deal, we'll charge you $10, no roaming in the U.S. for the phone. I said, what about my uh, tablet? I'm so used to it, you know, it's always on the internet with uh, the same company. And because I'm, I need this tablet, like, I can find a GPS for navigation, right? But I'm so used to Google Maps now. And as if somebody's always asked me, like, how do I get away with just having a regular car routes? It's because because I have this, right? I I have the route. I don't need the route from the GPS. I don't need to know truck specific route because I have to follow routing on my permits. 
because I'm always, uh, you know, pretty much nine nine cases out of ten, I'm my loads are oversized or or heavy, so I have to use the permits, right? And that's how uh, for a long time I was just using a car car specific GPS, right? Uh, and so yeah, so Rogers they gave me a break on the phone but on the tablet they charged me the same seven bucks uh, so 105 bucks Canadian per month you know so about uh, 80 bucks US so I did get a good deal with the phone but now it cost me too much for the for the for the tablet and I don't have enough uh, internet in US you know, like in, in Canada, I have that little modem I'm using, right? But in US, let's say when I'm doing this video now, right? I'll be uploading the video. I have to use my phone. And so I want to go and talk to Verizon. Uh, see if I can maybe get like a modem. You know, one of those modems. Or maybe get their phone. Might be even, you know, just get a phone. Which I can use for like the same deal as this, right? use for uh, um, Wi-Fi Wi-Fi on my computer anyway so that's what's happening this is what I'm doing and yeah I waited till till I had to wait till Friday till today to uh, to start moving but now I have lots of time all I need to do is just uh, be at the border with uh, Maryland uh, early Monday morning and then go to the port check in cancel my bond unload and of course I'll be driving myself this machine off I'll be driving off and yeah like I said I'm waiting for the guy to give me a quote on uh, Fontaine 55 ton L as in Larry uh, but I want to see what the damage will be in terms of money because I still owe uh, what do I owe I owe about 70% of the original price uh, but that's actually pretty cool so this trailer will be two years old in August and now it's June so it's almost two years old and I already the price the the debt went down by 30% you know, so it, because I gave him a big down payment okay so let's get going and so yeah I found the escort but they didn't call me back yet hopefully they will so let's go maybe do some photography over the weekend you know relax a little bit and um, deliver this Monday and oh one thing I have to do is I gotta I gotta change the posting of my truck I posted my truck is available yeah Yeah, that's me. Are you with uh, Cheyenne's uh, Cheyenne's pilot car? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but I can only go to Canada. I cannot go inside US. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, I posted my truck as available on Friday today in uh, Baltimore. And this is the second time I get calls from brokers. Oh, you got an IGN by, by any chance in Baltimore? I said, yeah. And I said, where, where are your loads going? The previous lady, the previous caller said, all over the place. New York, California, Illinois. I said, anything to Ontario, Canada? Uh, no. I said, well, that's it. Then I cannot help you. I said, I can only move loads inside uh, uh, between the U.S. and Canada.
fix this part. There was all potholes in here. Somebody lost lots of oil.